the existing um, PowerPoint materials that we have and, uh, and reformat those using a, a new PowerPoint template that has uh, um, uh, uh, space holders for, for small uh, for, for videos of, of instructors um, so that uh, we can minimize the words on the screen and make them flow a little more efficiently um, based on based on the script. Additionally, from the script, we can we can uh, uh, write our activities, quizzes, and of course test questions um, that we want to use specifically for the uh, uh, for the online training, and then and then we can um, uh, figure out any interactive. Uh, animation or storyboards, activity animation and uh, storyboards. Um, so we can script those out how we how we would like those to flow and what we would like to see. Um, taking all that content along with the, the formatted uh, PowerPoint, um, then we move into all the digital uh, uh, content creation, recording an instructor video slash audio uh, creating the animations, the uh, this is not only um, animations but interactive uh, uh, activities. Uh, if we need to create those outside of storyline uh, or any other kind of uh, animated content, we need to create. Um, and then, of course, there's probably some images and pictures that need to be formatted. Uh, all that gets assembled in Storyline, and, and actually in Storyline is where some of this interactivity actually um, is created. Uh, we don't really have to create um, videos uh, of you know animated animations, but uh, sometimes we just need to uh, program the content in Storyline so that it flows correctly. Hey, um, Jason, Mark here. Can I just ask a couple of questions? Uh, yes, sir. Um, so this was very helpful. I mean, Stefan sort of said it, but we, we got the gist of it from this document based on our other okay. conversations. So this was very useful. I mean, it's good to refresh. So the two questions I had, just to higher up the diagram, if you just scroll back up, um, yep. which just occurred to me, the, the pop quizzes and the, you know, the end of the, you know, the quest, the, the questions and the test, just an update on the one that you've completed. Have you actually pushed that out yet and had people use it to, to get some feedback on whether the tests were in the right place there were enough tests too many tests have you and will you get that soon enough uh yeah so we're we're working on our our final edits we've done our our uh, final review we're making some small adjustments and so we expect to push that content out to our employees uh oh middle of next week I right guess. right okay Th this whole thing became a lot easier once we realised you were at that point, having done it the once, you know, it all becomes a lot easier, the fact that it exists already. And we're, we're talking really about taking your beautiful handcrafted kind of home, I don't want to say artisanal approach, and kind of mass produce it, right, based on your templates. That's kind of how we got it, got our heads around what we need to do. Um, so that was that one. And then the other one, which didn't have an obvious answer, but and it's not essential right now, but you know the bit about the... Um, recording the video and audio I, I had in mind i think have you got first of all if you filmed some of the actual lessons for real just for your reference because uh, some of those exist and then secondly the you know you talked about um doing green screen with the uh, you know tightly scripted getting the guys to say what you wanted to them so you've done some of that already so it, it felt to me like until we know a bit more it might be the best that you guys keep doing that for a while and once we know a bit more about it, we can work out if that if that's something we could do. But the fact that you're, I guess, recording the people in the US, are you generally speaking? Where do you actually physically record them? Yeah, we have a we have a small little uh, uh, recording setup uh, yeah. in San Diego. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we don't we, we we don't we don't just to uh, answer your question, Mark. We we don't. One way of doing it would be to record an actual class, but we don't think that's going to produce something particularly professional. No. So we do script. We do script it carefully. Uh, yeah. We try and write the script as if an instructor would be delivering the content, and that's the whole point that we have the we have the expertise yeah. in, on the, um, the the actual technical content, and we also have the expertise in house on delivering the content as instructors. 
so so hopefully we can write a, you know a, a realistic script yeah and then have the uh, whoever we choose to film deliver that in you know as as um, uh, you know as natural a way as possible you yeah. know it's never going to be perfect but it's it's, it's pretty good yeah but that, that, that's what um, I was saying so that's which, I, I yeah. kind of got the gist that you've already done that you have a little studio you've got something up and running I don't know it's not a natural one for us to take over especially at the start because you're already doing right. it so uh, I was... and, and, and that's really one of the major questions we had I think we we, we kind of came up with uh, with, with two or three different perhaps options, things yeah. that we would continue to do as yeah. opposed to things that you could do. Yeah. So I guess that's the whole purpose of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th that one. Yeah. Th so, 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 so speaking of that, Mark, yeah. uh, the, the, like Derek said, we had a couple of different options for this uh, for this flow, and 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 since we don't, we, we we didn't really have a good idea of your capabilities, we thought, yeah. well, let's go with uh, this version and. And yeah. let you guys tell us if you can do it or you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, you know, we we can do it. We have places around the world, but not necessarily where the core team would be in India. So I don't know what's the benefit, really. So to start with, right. so the, the way we approach this, I think, and I'm just going to summarise, really, what Valentino and JP and Stefan and me had discussed, is that the, the productionising is to get the speed that you need to replicate, to go faster, blah, that's what we're kind of building, a, getting our heads around, putting a team together to do that, right? And that's, I think, the thing we want to put before you for consideration, you know, time, speed, cost, whatever it involves, there's that, that's the meat of it. Um, the uh, Once it's up and running, I'm sure it'll deliver all the speed that you need. The, the other part of a proposal, I think, the bit that I'm most likely to be involved in helping put together would be kind of... Um, from our point of view, a bit of an audit, which might involve a, a, a couple of people visiting you for a week or something, where we get to sit with you, make friends, of course, <laughs> see what you've been doing, what you've done, what you've achieved, what you turn from what into what, see what's left to do in the hopper. Definitely try and um, suggest, because you know we're doing this kind of work all the time, what, ways to make that flow better, the, the, the service design, the process flow but also just to complement all the skills that you have in the team and even to interview all the people in the team to say, I like doing this bit. I really don't like doing that bit. That bit takes way too long, you know, just to capture all of that. And the purpose of that would, you know, to get it all together into an assessment, um, which hopefully be useful to add some recommendations straight back to you, but also to frame up what we call the kind of the, the product backlog, which are the tasks and the priorities and the skills needed for us to actually you know, get off to a running start when this team's ready to, to grab hold of the work. You know, we'll be putting it all in order and building a backlog of work, um, you know, with your complete agreement that it makes sense to what we're doing. But it, we need to go through that exercise so that you don't have to, but also so that we're kind of understanding it in our own terms, in our own language, and, and build the backlog for our developers to, to start start the engine, right? Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, that 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 makes. Uh, uh, I understand what you're what, what you're saying, Mark. Um, be aware that uh, that that we will be um, running these comparable projects at the same time. We I don't think that we are are in a position or ready to uh, hand this uh, to to have. We're we're not exactly sure if if we're ready to have this entire process run this way for uh every single conversion that needs to yeah happen. yeah no but we're com we're completely flexible like that we're not we're not yeah. we're not in um we're not even motivated to try and like take it off you or own it or we don't want to do that we just want to complement what you've got and make it faster and and if we could get that up, up and running and agree something it'd be very you know, i'm sure it'd be very beneficial to you in the first few months and as we got to know each other it might become apparent what made sense to we could do more of and maybe less of you know but i just want to we just want to get the core thing the core ask which is all about the speed s sorted first you know in a way that helps <laughs> rather than hinders and turns your six years into more like six months or you know is that six months would be nice. well, well no, i mean I'm, I'm just pulling numbers out yeah but you know that that's the co that's the concept isn't it uh six years down to less than one year or something of that order um Stefan, was that a fair summary I just gave? Sorry of what we're kind of thinking. Uh, you know, 
an initial audit and then build a backlog for a team to take on? Yes, right. I think that, that, that's what we discussed and that is what we feel uh, makes the most of sense, right? Yeah. Because uh, I think we, I think it is, it is necessary to spend uh, time together, uh, a couple of our experts with you, to you know fully grasp uh, how the process works and uh, what, what needs to be done, and then based on that we can you know build a team which, as Mark said, pretty flexible can you know collaborate with you on the ongoing conversion efforts. Uh, yeah, because yeah, you made that point, Jason, there subtly, which was the process you've been through, you know, you want to crunch that down, of course. And as you're saying, lessons learned that you're already adopting in your second one that you're planning and, and options you have on certain flows. We'd love to have an opinion on some of those to help, you know, in other things we've done might be the best way to do it or a more efficient way. We, we, you know, we, we want to, yeah, we have an, we'll have a valuable opinion rather than waiting for you guys to decide it all. You know, hopefully we might have done something similar or, or got some ideas of, you know, more efficient ways to do things once we're at the table. Well, it sounds like a, it sounds like an idea. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. So uh, I think uh, if, if that's if that's okay with you, uh, I think the next step would be for us uh, to to sit together and uh, build a proposal for that. So you can see how exactly it will work from a timing frame perspective and also cost pricing and, and things like that. Um, and I think that's the next thing we would like to do. Pete, do you have any comments before they go off and generate a proposal? No, I mean, it sounded real good to me. I'm pretty impressed with the summary. Um, you said the magic word of mass produce <laughs> is, is what we're, exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. And it sounds like you're one that right. uses what we've already done and what, you know, how we want this to look and just kind of speed this up. Um, I, I'm very interested in seeing what you put out in front of us really yeah yeah and and i made the point to the guys that we, we you know we tackled the main question i had about that green screen video right for the moment i guess you guys should keep doing that obviously there'll be a couple of other things but to me they seem quite small and stuff we'd find out in our audit versus the central thing of the timing the cost and the you know the proposal that we're going to write so we, we'll leave some room in there when we write our summary of what we might learn when coming to visit you about ideas but we just discussed them you know there'll be a couple of things open but at its core that's what we can put in front of you to decide on first and then we can add things as we go along as we said flexible yeah i mean so yeah. you say visit us so we're every one of us are in a different spot all uh, right all uh, right well that's that's interesting to know um uh, I mean, we could do a lot of it online all oh, right hang on made me think differently about it all it's just when we say content audit and we do this with you know publishers and magazines and sports media and stuff um you know yeah all we've got from you so far is that the you know the little demo you showed us which was great and then the 50 days of instructor-led training somehow we need to get a, a feel for that you know the raw video or we we just need to go through it with a tooth comb to understand it and feel it if we can do it digitally that's good but we also do want to do some interviews with you all and learn as much as we can about the process you've been through if that you know but we, we could you know so that we couldn't even orchestrate a couple of days together in one spot no so we'd have to do oh, it yeah that, it, it, i think it would have to yeah have to happen if we were to go yeah. forward yeah and definitely need to speak to derek and jason I think face to face, and, yeah. and it would probably need to happen in San Diego. Right. Good. So, right, right. Yeah, and it'd be good. Yeah, exactly. Just to get everyone's kind of role and responsibility, how much time they devote to it, the the workflow, the stuff you've been through, just everything we learn and personalities we got and skills that everyone's got, we'll just work around that to complement it, you know. And and that's yeah, got to be done at least a couple of days in person, I think. Sounds good. Right. Right. Okay. So you're going to give us a proposal first, and then we'll arrange meetings or something like that. Is that how it's going to go? 
Yeah, yeah. So we will next step. We will work on. We will work on this proposal. We will uh, get together internally and build that proposal for you, uh, present it to you, and then we can, uh, you know, discuss about the timing. When will it be the audit and things like that? So when can we expect that proposal? <laughs> I'm looking to my colleagues. <laughs> JP, what do you think, Mark? What? Well, I think my part's quite easy. Valentino's kind of got the meat of it. The we'll follow you, we Valentino. To... Yeah, Mark. We should be able to submit this, uh, uh, you know, early next week. Right. Yeah. Let, let's okay, give us. So let's say we will. Sub... Yeah. End we of next week. It, uh, yeah. Next week. Yeah. And uh, Peter, uh, I will be in San Diego in the week of the seventeenth. So maybe we could meet in person and we can then discuss it. Right. Okay. We can confirm that. That would be good. Uh -oh. Right. Hide her later, but yeah, sounds good for target. Okay, nice. Yeah. Hey, sorry about that, Jason. I uh, all my lights in the house went off, so I lost yeah, the connection. No, no worries, no worries. Yeah, we have the file open. Hey, D Derek, where are you? Where are you based? Obviously, I'm recognising your accent. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in Motherwell near Glasgow. Oh, right, right, right. You haven't made it to sunny San Diego full time at the moment, then? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I used to. I used to live in San Diego. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway. They let me out. Oh. Home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. All right. I was okay. I think uh, it, it sounds we have a plan, and uh, yeah, if there are no more questions. We will after that we will work on this proposal yeah. internally and uh, get back to you next week. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye, bye.